Hi, I'm Mike, Turtleneck Tips Mike, and welcome to episode 4 of my Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield Isle of Armor Extreme Randomizer Nuzlocke. I'm not the only one wearing something a little different. I changed up my outfit today in the game too. I have the new hairstyle inspired after Chairman Rose, who I'm pretty sure is a criminal now. And the rest of my outfit kind of makes me look like a bumblebee. Alright, well let's buzz off with that and get into the recap. So last time, we went max mushroom hunting, and we found them while almost getting our face ripped off by a Sil Valley, and we got into a little battle with our rival Clara, who once again, like always, was free. We also ran into multiple Shadow Hoa, which was kind of cool, and just like that, we completed the second of three trials. So you know what that means. Today, that leaves us the final trial here on the Isle of Armor. But today, we're also doing something a little crazy. Are you ready for it? I put show away in the box. I know, it's terrible. I'm the worst. But I think it's time to give Cho a little bit of a rest, and also between you and me, her blue Gigantamax form isn't quite ready yet, so if we G-maxed her, she would just look kind of normal, which wouldn't be too exciting. So for this episode, I'm challenging myself to get through it without using Cho. And in her place, I'm using Lockhart, which is a Pokemon that does have a pretty cool G-max form. So let's go catch up with Master Mustard. I want to see what he had to say. He told me there was something important that he wanted to talk to me about. So, Mustard, what is going on? There you are, Poketips. Clara, thanks for coming. So, what's this all about, Master? What did you want to tell us? Right. Well, I've decided that you two will now take the Master Dojo's final, last, ultimate, third trial. Ooh, I don't like that look on his face. What's this trial gonna be? The final, last, ultimate, third trial? <laughs> All right, I'm not gonna say that again. What's that? You two are the only ones who successfully finished the second trial. You've pushed each other to greater heights and helped each other to grow. So, I'd say it's time to finally see who is stronger in a Dynamax Pokemon battle. We're gonna battle? That's the last trial? Wow, look at that fresh cut. I look so clean. Yep, the rules are simple. Whoever wins will complete the trial. The winner will be granted the secret armor of the Master Dojo. Ooh, secret armor. The battle will be held in the battle court behind the Master Dojo. The court is a power spot, so you can Dynamax to your heart's content. I... I've got to get going! I need to get there right away to prepare my pure heart for this. Pure hearts! When I first made it to the Isle of Armor, you tried telling me not to join the dojo. When I found the mushrooms, you tried to steal them. Yeah, that's right. Pure heart, Clara. Your head is just as mismatched as your stockings. Clara. She's got talent, that's for sure, but it's caused her to slack off. But things have changed since you've arrived, Poketips. Maybe you've helped awaken some sort of passion and drive in her, eh? Still, I only hope that motivation isn't put toward anything mischievous. Well, let's go find out. First, I'm gonna heal up, just in case. You never know how tough this battle could be. And let's go out there, and wow, what a beautiful arena! I am ready. I love these amazing huge arenas that they have in Sword and Shield. It makes every battle feel so grand. Now this is a place truly worthy of an ultimate battle. Let's just hope Clara has a really cool team to show off today. When I beat you, I'll get the secret armor. Then I'll become a poison type gym leader. I've got to win no matter what. I'm gonna go all out and totally beat you. You ready? <laughs> Ready as I'll ever be. Let's hope I don't regret taking Cho off the team today. Looks like the two of you are ready. Good luck. All right, you two. Take your places. Wow, I'm kind of getting excited for this battle. This reminds me when I used to run track in high school, and right before they would shoot the little gun to have everybody start running. Ugh, the moments leading right up to that, the anticipation, it felt crazy. And that's kind of what I'm feeling right now over this video game. <laughs> Ready! Oh, little sparkles in the background. And go! Alright, this is it. The final battle against Pokemon Trainer Clara. And she's leading off with Gorgeist, the pumpkin Pokemon. Oh, for once, I finally have a good matchup starting things off. And wow, we haven't seen that in a little while. We can Dynamax now. I'm not holding a single thing back anymore. Time to settle this fair and square. Oh, and maybe watch your step. Looks like some toxic spikes are on the battlefield. Are you kidding? What a cheater. What a cheater. So I have to start this battle up with my Pokemon poisons already. I can't with Clara. I can't. All right, so this is my first time ever using Lockhart. This should be pretty fun. And as tempting as it is to smack that Dynamax button right now, 
like you guys should smash the like button. Every like helps and makes my day a little bit better. But anyway, as tempting as it is to smash that Dynamax button, I kind of want to go for Sunny Day. I was thinking, we still have George on the team, and last episode, George was just barely missing out on the kills. So if I set up a sunny day, that kinda gets rid of my water type weakness and boosts my fire move, so there's really no losing there. Plus, what can this pumpkin really do to me? I have a good matchup here. Oh, it can try to confuse me. That is annoying. So now, let's see. Come on, I'm gonna snap my fingers. Lockhart, just go right through the confusion, set up the sun, don't hurt yourself. There we go! We're not getting confused by your confused ray. Not today, Clara! Don't try messing with me like that! Alright, a little poison damage, because Clara's a big fat cheater. So, you know what? Let's lash out a little of our anger on her with Fire Lash! Oh, but she's gonna throw some Nightshade at me. What level is she at? Because that does the amount of damage of the level. That was good English. That was great English. Okay, Lockhart, Fire Lash, and... Oh! Once again, we're missing out on the kills! Sorry, my dear Pokemon. I should have given better directions. You shouldn't have thrown poison at me. That's what you shouldn't have done. All right, now it's too tempting to not go for it. I'm gonna use a full restore right here. It gets rid of everything. We will be golden right here. It gets rid of my confusion, my poison, and heals up my HP. Super value out of this full restore. All right, and yep, going for Nightshade again. That's okay. That's all right. We could take that now. The only thing I don't like is it, I kind of just wasted a turn of my sunny day right there. I should have given Lockhart the heat rock or something. Oh, sticky web. Wow, it's going to really suck switching in now to everything. Because now, anything I switch into is going to be slower than normal because of the sticky web and get poisoned because Clara's a cheater. But it's cool. Let's keep going. We knocked out the pumpkin. We got a free level and ooh, lichen rock. Oh, is this the midday form? Gotta say, I'm a fan. However, I am in no way, shape, or form a fan of this matchup. If I stay in with Lockhart, I will instantly die to any rock move. Really doesn't matter what my health is. So we are gonna switch into another new Pokemon. Welcome to the field, Grop. Ugh, sticky web, that sucks. Usually I'm a fast Pokemon. But unfortunately, not anymore because of that. But this was actually a good switch. We resist that rock slide. And the sunlight goes away this turn. I guess I didn't get anywhere near as much value as I thought I was going to get out of that sunny day. In hindsight, I probably should not have even went for it. But it's okay. All right, let's try to smack this thing around with an earthquake. Lycan Rock use surging strikes. Whoa, that's a lot of damage. Wait a second. No, that's Urshifu's move. No, no, Grop. No, that's not. Uh-huh, that's right, let my poison drive you crazy! Ugh, Urshifu, who? That just feels plain terrible. Lycanroc with Surging Strikes. That is a really powerful move, too, so we need to send something in that resists that. I guess my choices here are Minerva or Arthur. Ugh, and Minerva, again, we're gonna be really slow switching in, so we don't even have the speed advantage anymore. I guess I'll bring out Arthur. Ugh, oh! That's right, if we bring in a Poison-type Pokemon, it gets rid of the Toxic Spikes on the ground. I didn't know if that was gonna work with this, because Clara kinda just threw them out herself. I guess she's a Poison-type. So, that works. That works well. Alright, well, Arthur resists Surging Strikes, but we aren't gonna resist Rock Slide, and Rock Slide has a good chance of making me flinch, so please don't make me flinch. Good. Petal Blizzard, can we get a one-hit KO here? Nope. Just gonna miss. Wow, we're really gonna go through a lot of items this battle. Oh, but she's gonna miss the rock slide! That's huge! That is huge! Thank you! Thank you, thank you, thank you! I'm glad to see I'm not the only one that misses moves a bunch. That was huge for me! We got super lucky there, and ooh, Ludicolo! Come on in here, let's do some dancing, Ludicolo! Ugh, if only I had Sludge Bomb, that would be perfect for this Ludicolo right now. All right, Arthur, let's fire some petals at this thing, and ouch, that is gonna be very unfortunate, very measly three-hit KO there. Actually, might even be a four. Uh, can we get some super luck here and get a critical hit? Wait! Wait! <laughs> it's going for Splash! The randomized movesets can be really good sometimes, like giving Lycanroc surging strikes, or they can be awful sometimes, like giving Ludicolo splash. Or maybe Ludicolo's saying, I didn't come here to fight, I came here to tango. So let's play this Ludicolo out with some music and get out of here, Ludicolo. Okay, and now Heracross! I was hoping this was gonna be a shiny. I love purple shiny Heracross. 
Doesn't look like I'm gonna see one of those today, though, and okay, I was about to bring George in, but I remembered actually George is part dark. A fighting move would kill us, so Minerva's gonna be the choice here. Ooh, Minerva's about to level up, too. Let's hope we can finish off this Heracross pretty easily. Oh, wait a second, this was a dumb idea. All right, so we did play well around the fighting move, but we're weak to bug. I'm not gonna lie, this feels really bad. I am a terrible Pokemon trainer. But I don't want to take a super effective bug move right now and die on Minerva because I, my brain turned off when I switched into Minerva. I saw super effective Psychic, I'm like, ooh, must switch in. But you know what? I think Lockhart is the better play here, unless Terracross doesn't have a bug move, but I don't know that right now. So we're going to bring Lockhart in. Again, this feels so bad, but I think this is the better play. Also, I think Terracross used superpower, right? Oh, Seed Bomb. Oh, okay. Well, thank you, Her- Oh, and that was a crit, too? That <laughs> did nothing! I'm glad that Heracross actually made me look good there. But, like I was going to say, I saw Heracross use superpower, so its attacks are going to do a little less damage now, and its defense is going to be a little lowered. So we should be fine no matter what it does. And wait a second, we are faster than the Heracross? And we're taking it out in one hit! Nice job, Lockhart! Oh, and Lockhart wants to learn Burn Up. That is a really interesting move, actually. Super powerful, special-based move. My special attack isn't great, but it gets rid of the fire type on Lockhart. I guess you know what? I'll ditch Sunny Day for Burn Up. I could definitely see Burn Up being an interesting move to use if we go up against like a water type or something. It's a really cool way to play around like in the middle of a match. All right, Passimian. So I could bring Minerva in here, but I'm actually going to stick around one more turn. Just go for a Fire Lash, see what happens. I think we're safe, so let's just go for it. Okay, Seismic Toss, that's fine. Taking me up off of Earth for that one move, but luckily it does fix damage, so not too scared when I see that. However, now I know I either have to switch or heal, so I'm gonna go with the switching. Minerva, get on out here! And yeah, it's gonna go for Seismic Toss again. Annoying, bringing me down to 32 HP. Ugh, the awful thing is if we didn't have Sticky Web up right now, I would totally go for Recover and heal myself up that way. I think we would outspeed it and not have to use any of our items here. But because of the Sticky Web, there's no way in the world we're outspeeding this thing. So I'm just gonna go for the Forest Store. And it looks like that's really all it wants to do. That's interesting, actually. I kind of want to just go for a recover here. I feel like I'll end this turn with more HP than I started if I go for a recover, assuming it goes for Seismic Toss. Let's test out that theory. I was at 99 HP before. We're dropping down to 27. We're going to go for a recover, and we'll end up with 113. So, if I kind of spam recover, I might be able to heal myself back up to full and take advantage of this Passimian. I might just go ahead and do that. <laughs> Alright, and there we go. After like a couple of turns of it just going for Seismic Toss, we're at 169 HP. I'm not going to recover again to get two more HP. So let's actually go for an attack now. Let's go for Psychic. Yeah, it's nice that that Passimian is so predictable. We were able to take full advantage of that Seismic Toss. And now, Passimian down. Ooh, a critical hit. I don't think it mattered at all, but it's nice to see those. <laughs> I love the dying animation. It kicks that little ball up just a little bit, and then it faints. There's no way I'm losing. I ain't letting go till the bitter end. Well, Clara, it's looking like this is the bitter end for you. And your last Pokemon is going to be a Cradley? What a strange Pokemon to end things on. I was expecting a Gigantamax Pokemon, but normally in the normal games, unrandomized, she doesn't use a Gigantamax Pokemon, right? So I guess that's why she didn't get one guaranteed. I really would like to bring Arthur in here. Okay. All right. You know what? We're going to do it. This is the ultimate risk-reward play right here. If it goes for a grass move, even a Dynamax grass move, we're gonna live. We double resist grass. If it goes for anything else, we die. We're bringing out Arthur, and we're about to find out. Am I gonna look really dumb in two seconds, or am I gonna look like a Pokemon genius? Let's find out. Come on, Clara. Don't let me down. Watch out, audience. One dose of Clara poison coming right up. And this is it. Oh, look at that little kawaii pose right there. Dynamax Cradily! Cradily! Cradle Pokemon! Look at it wiggle its neck right there. Alright, am I gonna look like a Pokemon Pro or a Pokemon Noob? Max Overgrowth! We can take that! Right, Arthur? Right, Arthur? What did I tell ya? Arthur, you are amazing! And grass is growing to cover up the battlefield, and you know what that's gonna do? That's gonna heal me up a little bit, too. 
Okay, now let's use our third and final full restore. I think that's three. I wasn't exactly counting. It better be three. And let's heal up Arthur to the max. And now, oh, is it? Are you telling me all you have is max overgrowth? Is that the best you can do? Well, you're gonna have to do way better than that because Arthur is about to get big. All right, let's go. My new style. Let's throw that Dynamax Pokeball. And here we are, Dynamax Venusaur. It's a battle of the giants. But here's the thing. My giant is a little bit better than yours. Let me show you a real max overgrowth. Oh, that was pathetic, actually. Arthur, I'm hyping you up like crazy over here. And then you just do that. You gotta do more damage than that, Arthur. Oh, but now it's shrinking back down to size. Let's see how much a max overgrowth does to this tiny Pokemon now. Let's hit him with another max overgrowth. Hit him with those mushrooms. We'll remind that Cradley of the mushrooms that Clara tried stealing from me. And this is my last turn of Dynamax, so let's go for a final max overgrowth. If you can get a crit here and end the battle, Arthur, that would be amazing. Otherwise, it's gonna live on like 2 HP. Nice! Nice! We got the crit! We got the crit! We actually got the crit! I can't! I can't! We got it! What? 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 No way! No way! No way! Arthur coming in clutch! Amazing job, Arthur! I am so proud of you! I am so proud! I wanted that crit! I wanted to end that battle that turn, and Arthur came through! Woo! But I didn't hold back! I gave it everything I've got! Well, sometimes, Clara, it just isn't enough. I'm sorry! The victor has been decided! The one to complete the third trial is you, Pokétips! Hooray! Hooray! Oh, well done! You both gave it your all! Pokétips! You gave it your best and triumphed, even when faced with an unfair challenge. To you, who has completed all the trials, I grant the secret armor of the Master Jojo. And that's all, gang. <laughs> well, it feels good winning that battle, but it feels bad having Grop die. How in the world? Could you do that to me, Clara? Looks like you're not gonna be joining the We Live In box anymore. You're gonna be joining the dead box now. Groppy, 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 grop. I'm so sorry you had to go down that way. Now, I could add anybody from the We Live In box back to the team, but let's find out what that secret armor is first. Hey, Mustard, I'm over here. JK, no, I'm not. I'm over here. No, I'm over here. All right, let's stop messing around with Mustard. Ah, there you are, Pokétips, keeping this old man waiting, hmm? Since you've completed all three trials, I give you the secret armor of the Master Dojo. Now then, come on out! And look at it, it's Kung Fu! Who gets his own theme, I forgot about that! Look at him, Papa! Kung Fu is so cute, I love it, so. Ah! Oh, but Kung Fu's scared of me, no, it's okay! I know I get a little loud sometimes when I record these episodes, but I promise you I'm friendly, don't be scared. <laughs> what a great way to give you a Pokemon, I love that cutscene. This Pokemon is in fact the secret armor of the Master Dojo. Say hello to Kung Fu! I know, I know, it's tiny. But raise it with diligence, and it'll become strong enough to see you through any battle, just like a suit of armor. No opponent will be able to get past it. This one in particular has amazing potential. Problem is, it's a bit shy. So I was thinking, Pokétips, maybe if it joins you on in your adventure, that'll help it break out of its shell a little bit. So take good care of Cub Fu, okay? It's in your hands now. Alright, but is this going to be a Cub Fu, or is this going to be randomized? Let's find out. Okay, Cub Fu, do you accept me as your trainer? I accept you as my Pokémon. Yes, Cub Fu became my Pokémon. But who are you going to be? We're getting a Dex entry, and wait! Urshifu? Was my Cub Fu really randomized into an Urshifu? Literally, out of all the Pokémon it could have been. Which I think for this Pokémon in particular, it only could have been legendary Pokémon. It got randomized into what it normally evolves into. Maybe that's just how the randomizer does things. I don't know. Either way, that's pretty cool. Single strike style. Oh, that's too bad. We can't get the water style and be able to use surging strikes. I really like that move better, but Urshifu, I'll take him. This form of Urshifu is a strong believer in the one-hit KO. Its strategy is to leap in close to its foes and land a devastating blow with a hardened fist. All right, so we've got to give Urshifu a nickname. 
And you know what? We're gonna name Urshifu... I think we haven't used this name yet, actually. Draco, after Draco Malfoy. So let's add Draco to the team. Now then, the first thing for you to do is become best friends with Urshifu. You need to build trust. Urshifu hasn't really had a chance to explore the world outside of the dojo, so maybe you'll become better friends if you let it have a look around. Maybe take it to a spot that has a great view of the Isle of Armor. I'll have my students standing at good spots, so just keep an eye out. I still can't believe I got an Urshifu as my randomized Pokemon. That's actually wild. So I know the game actually acts differently now if you don't have Cubfu. You're supposed to do this next- oh wait, what are, what are we holding here? TR32. Please be something good. What is TR32? Crunch. But anyway, like I was saying, I know the game acts differently if you don't actually have Cubfu, so I'm wondering where we go from here. I guess I'll try going to these spots over here. We'll check them out. So let's leave the dojo and get going. And is now the time where I finally get the coolest part of the Isle of Armor? Because I'm tired of waiting. Yes, yes it is! My Pokemon follow me now! I've actually never seen Senta Scorch's following animation. Why is half its body underground? Well, let's put Draco in front of the party. It's level 10, so it's not going to be doing anything here. And I guess we got to take real good care of it and make sure it doesn't die. But I'm supposed to be real friendly with it, right? So actually, you know what? Let's go back to an old area real quick. Let's go back home to Postwick, which is actually kind of funny going here now where Pokemon can't follow me. But I want to use Draco in one battle all by itself. I want to test out Draco's ability and Draco's skill. So let's go here to Route 1, which now has different Pokemon. Ooh, a Tapu Fini. Let's do it. Maybe this is a bad idea, having Draco's first battle against a legendary Pokemon, one of the Alola legendaries. But we'll give it a shot, I guess. Or maybe not. Draco's moveset is actually quite awful. Rock Smash, Leer, Endor, and Focus Energy. Why would you give me a Pokemon with such a bad moveset? Maybe the move relearner has something a little bit better. I can't make anything happen with that moveset. Yeah, Wicked Blow. And honestly, Sucker Punch is really good too. I love that. Priority move. So we'll get rid of Focus Energy. Oh, Endure is actually kind of funny. Technically with Endure, I can have this thing go up against something high leveled and make it survive for one turn. Let's go back to Route 1 and find something that uh, won't destroy me. Because I think with this moveset, we'd even be bad against the Tapu Fini. Oh, uh, okay. We'll go right into this Pilo Swine. Get out here, Draco. And... Okay, Rock Smash is super effective, but I want to see Wicked Blow. So let's go for Wicked Blow. Signature move, Wicked Blow. Woo! He comes in with that speed and just goes in and plow. So it looks like the first of the four spots we need to check out is over in the Brawler's no! We're crashing again? I don't know what is crashing the game right now. Something is not agreeing with my randomizer. Alright, we're back. Yeah, really all I lost was just uh, the move relearner moves on Draco. I honestly won't even bother with that right now. Let's try going back over to the cave. Let's hope I don't crash again. I changed the day, so this should change the overworld encounters here. Because I know it's gotta be- Oh! Look at the Crystal Onyx! Anyway, like I'm saying, I know that something, it's gotta be a Pokemon that's causing the game to crash. Something is spawning in the overworld that my randomizer just doesn't like. It doesn't know how to handle, so it just says, okay, must abort, cancel, cancel, crash. Alright, any more surprises or are we done now? Okay, cool. Back to the cave where we found all the legendaries before. And look, Magearna! What a nice Pokemon to run into. We love some Magearna. And we love our genies. You know what, I realized when I came in the cave, I totally walked right past the dude. Let's talk to him. Hi there, Pokechips. You've got to see the view from here. Come on, why don't you and Cubfu enjoy the scenery together? Hmm, it doesn't seem like you have Cubfu on your team. You can't strengthen the bond with your Cubfu if it's not even with you. What if I put Draco in front of the party? Nope, it actually has to be a Cubfu. Mustard, we have a problem. You didn't give me the right Pokemon. Mustard, stop playing Pokemon Quest. What am I going to do? Hmm. Why Pokechips? I don't see Kubfu in your team or in your boxes. There's no point in this training without Kubfu. Are you sure you want to continue? What do you mean there's no point in the training? Why did you just give me a Kubfu then? Randomizer, schmandomizer, what am I gonna do without Kubfu? Well, I guess we gotta continue without him. We don't get to see those cute little cutscenes where I bond with him. But yes, we will continue. Well then, follow me. Dum dum dee dee la la dee da. 
Ooh, I guess this is a good spot. You need to challenge the Towers of Two Fists. The blue tower is the Tower of Waters. And the red tower is the Tower of Darkness. Choose wisely, since you'll only be able to climb one of the two towers. You really need to have Kubfu with you for this training, though. It's not too late to find Kubfu, though. Come here together so you can start your training. I really don't think he has any idea that he gave me an Urshifu. So in the next episode, I think we are going to take on the towers. Tower of Waters, Tower of Darkness. I don't know which one we'll take on, but whichever one we do, we're going to be in for some tough battles. So my friends, if you're ready to see me take on the towers, the final big challenge of the Isle of Armor, make sure you give this video a huge thumbs up right now. The biggest thumbs up ever. And I'll see you soon with the next episode. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day.